Hey guys, what's up? This is DJ Andy. Welcome back to my channel. We are doing a tutorial on Virtual DJ today. Um, this is Virtual DJ 7. Now I do have Virtual DJ 8 for all those that may be watching this and thinking why isn't you doing on Virtual DJ 8? Um, we will be getting into Virtual DJ 8. However, there's quite a lot of people using Virtual DJ 7 because it's probably easier to get hold of at the moment. Uh, it's probably a lot cheaper than the Virtual DJ 8 system but it does do the job for people who are doing mobile DJ or karaoke in or they're just a bedroom DJ um, so yeah this is virtual DJ 7 Pro um, this is one I use at my gigs um, I do find it quite easy to use uh, so we'll get into this now basically today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to add a codec now a codec is a file format that uh, virtual DJ actually have in, in a file system so it can read certain types of files so say if you have an mp3 um, it will it will have a codec for mp3 um, it is then the wave formats and and the WMA um, formats and things like that there's also a FLAC formats which is going to be sh what I'm going to be showing you today how to enter a FLAC format into the codec system on virtual DJ7 because you can actually add files so that it will play um, the virtual, uh, not the virtual DJ, <laughs> the, the, the actual music file so you can actually play it through virtual DJ 7. Now this will work with virtual DJ 6 and 5 or any other virtual DJ um, systems that you may be using. So we'll get into this now. Um, as you can see behind me virtual DJ is playing a track in deck B there in red. <coughs> That is a FLAC file. Um, it never used to play FLAC files until I altered the codec system. So what we'll do now is get into how you actually add the, the FLAC file. Okay, this is Virtual DJ 7 Pro. This is the screen that you will see on your laptop. Um, I'm just pointing the camera at my TV at the moment. I was trying to use some um, screen capture software but it wasn't working so we'll do it this way so I have my fancy little pointer here which is a paintbrush which will help us understand where we need to go on virtual DJ 7 Pro uh, to set these codecs up so let's just quickly run through what you've got on the deck as you see it on your screen you've got your deck A there which is on the left hand side and your deck B on the right hand side um, up at the top you have your beats per minute which will show you how many beats per minute are in each track you've got your hot cue buttons you've got your effects and samplers on the left hand side here uh, you've got your loop in and out you've got the, the pause, the play, the sync and the cue there now in another video I'm going to get into how to beat mix these two together using the sync button there so that'll be another video which will be coming very shortly but to get back into this, this is the left hand side where all your files will be kept on your PC this will just show any file that you have there and all you simply do is click on one of them and it will start telling you what you've got so there you go there's all my files on my desktop I've got desktop music and desktop music too these are basically what I will play on right these are what are already on the laptop I do have an external hard drive with a load more music on it but these would be what I generally play on a on a party or a wedding so any other files that I may have I do name them so that if they've provided me with a playlist I've got it there so I can use them on the night um, as well I do have other things on there as well just so I can find things easily in the middle here you have what's the search menu and you have a list of tracks there these are what are on the desktop already so I can just find them these are probably what people have requested and I can just get to them easily underneath that you have a side list so you can drop the tracks into there and if you want to save them for later and maybe play them later in the night on the right hand side here you have the playlist section which is for the auto mix function now if you don't want to see that you just unclick the padlock down in the corner there and that will get rid of that playlist section now you'll notice this padlock's 
here in, as well that means you can get rid of that as well if you don't want it but all you do is hover over that section again the play section will come back and all you do is click the padlock to lock it into place this is how I set up for a party I will use the playlist section there um, to play anything that I need in the playlist and obviously use it on the night I just find it a little bit easier when I'm dealing with people that if there's a playlist there then I can effectively keep the music going without any interruption um, because generally people will stand there until you've found the track you've got and usually I have to do this and go into some of the files sometimes so because virtual DJ can't find what you want through the search system so you have to search for it manually through your, all your files and that but anyway that's another story we'll get on with the configuration settings so up in the top right hand corner here you have the configuration and underneath there it will say settings when you hover over it so there you go into the config section I already have this on codex this is the tab that you will click on for codec so if I go back to sound setup it will go back to sound setup in a minute There we are on, on sound setup, now you can see the new Mark Mix Track Pro is plugged in, it's set up for headphones and speakers and it's also got the master channel 1 and 2 and headphones channel 3 and 4. So we're not interested in that today, we're interested in the codex section so across your taps there you will, you will notice it will say codex. Now the, the format we are adding today is FLAC which is there this stands for free lossless audio codec free lossless audio codec and there you can see I've already added it into the codec files there are also other codecs here which you may see as well is M4A uh, you've got your WMV you've got your DivX you've got MP4 so this is what virtual DJ will recognize at the top you've got your usual mp3s and your CDAs uh, so it will recognize quite a few different um, formats and files if you wish to use them however if you want to add a codec into the system now we're going to just use the FLAC files we just press this green button here that has a green cross on it and you will see the extension box comes up here all you do is type FLAC into extension you go over to the decoder press the drop down thing and there you'll see a list of decoders so all you need to do is click on general windows media audio decoder there and that will give you the file and the decoder for FLAC files and you click OK there you'll see now it has added the FLAC file there underneath the one that's already there because I have done this previously so it's now got two now we don't need two so we'll click on that and you'll see the little trash can there or the dustbin if you're here in England all you do is click on that it will disappear and that that will get rid of that one for you and all you need to do is click OK so what we need now is a flat file and the way you find out what a flat file is is you find a track highlight it right click the mouse click on properties and there you see it will tell you type of file flat file and it gives you a load of information there uh, there are several tabs up there we don't need to know anything else about it that all anything is it's a flat file all you need to do is pick it up you take it down to virtual DJ virtual DJ will bring it back up you can also you can just drop it into your deck here this is a nice easy way of getting your, your music onto your virtual DJs just to drag and drop it and then you see the file will lo load up if you press play now the file will start playing this will stop a lot of your error messages coming up there when you pick a file a music file that you want to play maybe you've got a request or anything and um, you start to play and it doesn't play or it will show up in your playlist there but it won't actually play on the 
the virtual DJ is because it's probably not got the correct codec and the way you find that out is like I said previously is to right click on the file find out what file format it is once you've changed that in the codec section which is there once you've entered it into there it should start playing Okay, there you go with your tutorial on Virtual DJ Server on how to add your codecs into the configuration settings on Virtual DJ 7 Pro. Now, I do have Virtual DJ 8 as well, so we'll be doing some videos on that as well, tutorials on the differences between Virtual DJ 7 and Virtual DJ 8, because they've now just brought this out. It's been out about a year or so now, uh, Virtual DJ 8, depending on when you're watching this video. So... We will be doing some tutorials on that as well because there's quite a lot of significant differences between that software and this one that we're using here. However, there are a lot of DJs still using this and there are a lot of people who are just started DJing and they've got hold of Virtual DJ 7 as well. And um, they do struggle to get some of the songs to play so this should help you get your songs to play on Virtual DJ 7. It's not 100% certain, you may have corrupt files or there may be something wrong with the software. So you need to check out and investigate a bit more or just drop a comment down below and I'll, I'll see what I can do on finding out why your tracks don't play on Virtual DJ 7. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and a big thank you for watching.